Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Grandpa Casey. I am going to be talking to you about live streaming services such as StreamYard, Melon, Restream, OBS. All of these are great platforms and allow you to do a lot of things. But the popular one for streaming right now is StreamYard. And StreamYard is, is a great program. It seems like everybody's promoting it. Yes, it's the greatest thing since Pi, but it isn't. Because you have to pay a lot of money to get all the extras in it. And not only that, it, I'm using OBS right now to stream. And I, in one of my videos, you can check it out. I show you how to put a chat box inside of your OBS stream so you can see what people are chatting about. But I looked at the cost and the amount of money you have to spend into it. Let's get into it. So first thing out of the box. When you compare it, everybody seems to say StreamYard, StreamYard, StreamYard seems to be the program that you're doing. And it's very, very popular. And all the YouTube gurus are all promoting it and all having their, getting, making money promoting it. So, again, I tried it and I was like, okay. And I tried, I use, I now use OBS and I'm looking at all the different programs. But when I started looking at actually purchasing it and using it, I noticed that a lot of those features, of course, like many of these are stripped out. But the one feature that I noticed was right away is that you couldn't get 1080p until it was until you pay $49 a month. Stream, you have a lot of streaming limits. You have a lot of things you can't do, and it doesn't have a lot of the functionality of Emu. E doesn't have built-in graphics. Doesn't have this. And the other thing I noticed that StreamYard was a little more heavy in CPU usage than Eve Mux. So let's compare that. The next thing, I looked at Eve Mux, and I and I, you can't even find it when you do a Google search. That's that's absolutely amazing to me, uh, because all these other companies, you know, Melon, Re, Restream, all of them, are all promoting their product and paying big money for you, and then paying big money to the 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 gurus and everybody else to promote their products and giving them an affiliate cut of the money. While there is another product out there that makes their product look like eh to me, my personal opinion. The first thing I noticed, of course, is that right out of the gate, for the free version gives me 1080p. Gave me seven minutes of recording, which for basic user, basic person, that's great because, you know, if I, taking, I take some of those recordings and I can cut them up and, and maybe reuse them in another stream, you know, up to 12 participants on the screen at the same time for free i mean it's got it has uh banners tickers integrated chats push to talk backstage mode a bunch of things and like i said the interface is just like obs so if you know obs you can get right into this program and there are a great amount of tutorials in it too so i'm going to sh sh show you excuse me i'm going to show you right now I'm going to open this computer, the program up. Unfortunately, my camera won't show in there because I have OBS open also. I'm using it to record. But then I'm going to show you an actual sample where my first time I used it. So you can get an idea of the difference. Now, the first thing that's really, really cool about this is you have a lot of the functionality you have in OBS in this streaming service. Not only that, it's very light. doesn't take up a lot of power in your computer. So just like OBS, it'll run on just about everything. And I tried it on a connection, which had very little, very s slow upload speed. And yet it still worked. So here's where you would go live. You can see the channel. And this is the first screen that I have created over here. And I'll transition that over. And then I can put the second screen, which I have created, here. Now this is where my camera go. Unfortunately, right now, the camera is also being used by OBS, so it can't. I can't show it to you, but I will show you a sample a video when we finish. Not only that, but you can you can invite a guest right here. Uh, you have layers. You can add on music. Com you've got your comment screen. You've got banners you can create. You can have multiple guests. You can see this. You can have your guests coming in, and you can have up to two guests in the, basically in the, in the first version, but multiple guests. 
So you have all the functionality of stream service like Steamyard and much more, but you have all the ability to do <coughs> all of adding a clip, putting an overlay, you know, just about everything you could possibly think of. And it comes in with a bunch of already made overlays. And then on top of that, it not only does it have built-in overlay, but you can upload your own up overlay like I have here. See it? So you can do all the functionality. And that's really the bottom line about this. Now here's a sample video streaming that I did just for you guys to see. You saw the, the different images that I created in the banners. Just It took me like five seconds to create all this stuff. You know, literally nothing. I mean, it's so simple and intuitive and easy to use and the built-in background and everything else. So you take a look at this. You get to see what it looks like actually streaming. Transition, we'll get into, and you can see now, I put created my own background. I, I can size the, the various uh, screens. I can create my own timer. It also comes with all kinds of fancy effects and banners. Like I said, it comes with everything you need on just on the free version and it's 1080p. So it gives you an idea of what you can do with this program. I just was amazed when I found out about it. So let me let me get into more about this that you're going to really know, want to know. Now, if you haven't done so already, please smash it a like. Hit that subscribe button. doesn't cost you anything. Hit that little bell notification. You know, next time Grandpa's going to be talking. And... And give us a comment. Which of these programs are you using right now? Are you satisfied with it? And check out e -Mux. I don't. This is not a paid promotion. I don't get any affiliate links on it. This is something that I discovered and I felt that you needed to know about this because if you're doing any live streaming and you want to up your game, this seems to be the way to go, especially for the free version. Now, on top of that, like I said, a lot of these programs there's a lot of good ones. I mean, let's be honest, the Duck or StreamYard is a great program. And that's why everybody seems to be promoting it because it's stable and it works well. But I, I use OBS and I want all the functionality of OBS in my stream services. And this seems to be the only program that I found personally for me. And if you know of another program that's better, hey, great. If you like StreamYard better, great. Put it in the comments. If you like uh, whatever it is, whether we restream, Melon, Mushka, Dushka, whatever it is. You know, there's so many of these wonderful programs. But, you know, I needed something that was simple to use, that didn't put a lot of power on my computer, didn't, didn't require extremely powerful internet connection, and that I could use out of the gate, bam, what, without any issues. So this is my opinion of that Eve Mux will eventually replace the StreamYard services, that's my opinion. And that's how I'm sticking to it. You have a great day. Don't forget to check out our other reviews, our other tech news, our other tech solutions, and all the other tech that we talk about. Have a great day.